Hello everybody, TJP Gamer 7 here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to take a track from Blender and import it right into Render Browse. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously your Blender file. And I make sure it's all smooth so that nothing's messed up. And I'm just going to be using this one, just something plain and simple. And then, if you want to put terrain textures on it, so it's like a terrain texture, you're going to want to go up here. And now, you know, I'm going to explain what you want and you need first. First, you're going to need your Ogre, Ogre Meshes export. And now, I have everything compacted into a nice, neat file that's going to be in the description below, where it's going to have this conversion. We're just going to teach you how to convert tracks from 0.38 to 0.47, or any 0.4, which ERH Minor, or Eric, has a, has a video on how to do it, and I will leave it in the description below. And then, Terrain Files, which you're going to have everything later on in the video, and then textures, which you're going to need to put textures on your stuff, like a boss texture, purple crushed cars, and red crushed cars, as well, as well as your dirt. So to texture things, you just go up here, you should see this, split area. Now you're going to see two of this. Now we don't need this over here, so we're just going to click this button down here, which is the 3 view button, and change it to UV Image Editor. And now you're going to have your model here, and your image editor over here. Now, you're going to have to go into edit mode, and you should see this. If you don't, then just click B and highlight it. You should see that. And now you're going to need to unwrap this model and put it into a net, basically. You're going to click U and unwrap. Now it should bring it to this. Now you're just going to go to image, open. Then go to your Rigs of Rods Utilities folder, and Textures, and Dirt, or wherever you have, if you have your own texture. Then you're going to go to Texture Mode, back to Object Mode, and there you go. Now you have textures for your Rigs of Rods model. Now, you're going to want to go to File, Export, Ogre Meshes. Now you're going to need to change your material file name. I'm just going to name it backflip. Right. And now you're going to need this later, so you're just going to copy it. And then it has to be dot material file. And now, as you can see, I have a folder on my desktop that says export. You can do the same. And so I'm just going to do edit the pack and put export. Now you're probably going to have to Click select if this is your first time. And then you're going to have to click colored ambient, copy textures, and game engine materials. These three up here should already be selected, but if they're not, select them. And then you're just going to have to click export. Then it should export, and you should get your export log. And it should say exporting, and then done, as well as. Then you're just going to need to click OK, and I'll minimize it in case you do something wrong. And as you can see, your export folder now has something in it. You should see backflip ramp dot material or whatever you named yours, and then plain dot mesh. And then you're gonna want to type in whatever you name your stuff. And then dot mesh dot XML. You're gonna need to change that name. Oops. Now if you open it up, it should look something like this. But you don't need that. Because that's for advanced editing. Then you're going to need to open up your Rigs of Rods folder. Now you have to make sure you have point .38 installed. Then just go to your program files, Rigs of Rods point .38, scroll down until you see over XML converter. Then you're just going to want to drag this onto that, and then it should bring up a little command prompt, and then you'll see mesh, black ground mesh or whatever you named yours, and over XML converter log. Now you're just going to want to delete that backflipgrounds.mesh and you can keep this here. Now we're done with that folder. Now it comes to the folder that I left in the description below with the textures folder in it. You're going to have to take terrain files, take this, and drag it into here. Preferably crop it. And then you're going to see simple.raw, 
test track .odef, test track .terrain, simple .cfg. Then you're just going to want to open up your simple .cfg, and it should be something similar to this. You don't need to mess with that. Now you're going to open up test track .terrain with Notepad. Then you should see your first Notepad plus plus. That's one of the must have installed. Also going to be in the description below. What you're going to need is that you're going to replace where it says test track with whatever you named yours. I named mine back flip, oh, well, back flip ramp. I want to copy that. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Sorry. And then click test track. And then replace that with what you named it. And then you should see this button up here. That looks like a floppy disk. And click save. And you're gonna, then you're done with test track dots right. And you're going to have to rename that whatever you named your file or your material and mesh file. Then you're going to open up test track .oda as well with notepad plus plus. Then you, it should say test track .mesh. Now you're going to have to rename that with whatever your mesh file is named as well as right here. Then you should see STD friction programs. Now, say if your track was on a beach, you would put type in sand. And then there's also snow and ice. But I like to keep much of grass because it works great. Then you just save it. Now you're gonna see simple that raw and just keep it. Keep everything the same, simple that raw and then simple that CFG. You don't have to change. All you need to change now is the test track that would have. And you should be fine. Now, here comes the fun part. Bringing your track into the game. You're going to want to open a new zip file. Instead of making that compacted into a nice zip file, which we're going to read. And you're just going to want to type in your name. Whatever you named your file. And you should take all your files in here. Copy it to your zip file. You may not have WinRAR, set it to your zip files, so you might want something a little bit different than this. And now, time to put it in the game. We're just going to go to your documents folder, scroll down until you see point 38, terrains, and then just drag your terrain right in there, open up your point 38 config. Or just right into the game. Save and play. And then you'll see back to ramp or whatever you named it. I'm just, I'm just gonna spawn in a monster truck. Avenger. And as you can see, if I turn around, there is my backflip ramp. Let me just turn on my truck. Let's see how it works. And yours should be a solid model based on your configuration. And obviously yours is going to look a little bit different than mine. As you can see, go right over there. And now ERH Miner or Eric will have a has a video that teaches you how to take rot bricks and rods maps from point thirty eight to point four. And I wouldn't just going to watch that video. And you already have your conversion file, so there's no need to go into his description and install it. So, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And please comment if this does not work so that I can make a second video on how to make it work. Alright, see you in the next video. Peace.